and I will bless them that bless thee, and curse him that curseth thee, and in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. Genesis 12, 3. In one press conference after another, when referring to the Muslim terror supergroup ISIS, United States President Barack Obama will use the term ISIL instead of their former name ISIS, or current name Islamic State. Have you ever wondered about that? We have. ISIL stands for the Islamic State of Iraq and Levant. Now, to us Westerners, we don't really make much of a distinction, do we? No, honestly, from our perspective, it's all about the same. But how would a Muslim living in the Middle East view it? Just what is the Levant anyway? Let's take a look. The geographical term Levant refers to a multi-nation region in the Middle East. It's a land bridge between Turkey to the north and Egypt to the south. If you look on a map, however, in the near exact middle of the nations that comprise the Levant, guess what you see? Come on, guess. It's Israel. When Barack Obama refers over and over to the Islamic State as ISIL, he is sending a message to Muslims all over the Middle East that he personally does not recognize Israel as a sovereign nation, but as territory belonging to the Islamic State. Now you know why Obama says that he has no plan, no goal, and no stated aim for dealing with ISIS. But he does have a plan, and it's a really nasty, diabolical one. Obama's plan is to drag his feet for as long as he can, doing only the bare minimum that Congress forces him to do. His plan to buy ISIS as much time as possible to make as many gains as they can. Obama painstakingly spells out the letters I-S-I-L, so there is no doubt in your mind. And it's working. The Islamic State has garnered millions of dollars, a vast cache of weapons, and in their latest foray, have captured Syrian fighter jets. With each passing day that Obama fulfills his stated aim of doing nothing, the Islamic State grows by leaps and bounds. The ultimate goal, of course, has not changed and will never change. The ultimate goal is the destruction of Israel. Now you know a little bit more why Obama chooses his words so carefully and what's really in a name. Shakespeare had it right.